Dietmar Wallner is mayor of the town of Jenbach, Austria. He opposes right-wing populists and defends the rights of refugees. In the last election, Austria's right-wing FPÖ party increased its share of the vote at the expense of the established parties. The runoff election for Austrian president will be held later this month, and critics say the FPÖ is trying to unsettle voters. Will Dietmar Wallner succeed in reassuring them? Wallner has been mayor for three years. For decades, Jenbach usually sided with one of the country's two big political parties. But things are changing. The FPÖ is making headway with the voters, and Wallner is trying to put a stop to that. He meets regularly with local residents, like here at this coffee house. Hello, everyone. May I join this distinguished group? As usual, there's only one discussion topic around the table. Of course, the big issue right now is the refugee crisis. You're certainly right there. It's on everybody's mind right now. So a lot of people are supporting the FPÖ. I can certainly understand why a lot of people are feeling nervous right now. But the statistics show that there's been no major increase in the crime rate since the refugees started arriving. Most people believe that we've got enough immigrants already. That's been the case for years. But they just keep coming. And there aren't any border controls. You can't just say this guy's on the right or the left or in the middle. Everyone deserves a chance. This is chaos pur. It's just chaos, whether it's the refugee crisis or the political situation. The politicians are all talk and no action. It's time for a change. It's time for younger politicians to take over, regardless of which party they belong to. The situation is really polarized right now. And I suspect the people are being played against each other. Refugees against migrants, migrants against local residents. We've got to take a pragmatic approach to this situation. It's a political problem and the politicians have to deal with it. But it's a little more complicated than that. A lot of people are feeling insecure right now, not just in Jenbach, but across the country. And they're weary of the long-established political parties who've been running the country for decades. The Conservatives and the Social Democrats. That's why many are voting for the FPÖ. People are unsettled. And so they say to themselves, I'm going to vote for a party that will restore my sense of security. Whether it's giving more power to the police or increasing border restrictions. <laughs> Mayor Walner is at the town hall to find out more about the German language courses that the village is offering to its 65 refugees. Walner believes that asylum seekers should be more fully integrated into the local community. A teacher and a student show how the lessons work. Mm -hmm. 
Valna wants to make sure that the refugees find their place in Austrian society. Michael Trenkwalder has a different point of view. He's the deputy mayor and is a member of the FPÖ. The party has been scoring a lot of political points with its tough stand on refugee policy. Despite their political differences, the mayor and his deputy get along well together. Tankwalder talks to us about his position on the refugee situation. I'm not opposed to refugees, but we don't need all those economic migrants. If we didn't have to deal with them, there'd be enough money in the budget for people who really need help. Austria has no obligation to feed the entire world. These people are here with us right now. It won't benefit anyone if they have to live on the streets or don't have enough to eat or don't have access to education and have no opportunity to become integrated into our society. So the mayor and his deputy agree to disagree. The FPÖ's harsh rhetoric has proven popular with people who feel neglected by the established parties. You don't solve problems by inciting hatred and scaring people. You take a pragmatic approach and you discuss possible solutions. That's how you solve problems. Not by shouting a lot and playing one group off another. The FPÖ has organized a meeting in the regional capital Innsbruck to talk about what it sees as the dangers posed by refugees. An FPÖ provincial council deputy, Rudi Federspiel, is here to tell people how they can defend themselves against criminals. I've got a copy of the Kronenzeitung newspaper right here. And there's an article that talks about security in our country. It quotes the interior minister as saying that the number of crimes committed by foreigners has risen sharply. These are self-defense weapons, including CS gas, alarm systems and a shotgun that doesn't require a weapons permit. The FPÖ people deny that by making presentations like this, they're trying to scare people. We're just trying to tell it like it really is. And then we're accused of getting people riled up. But if I can't speak out in public about things that are important to me and my colleagues, then I'm in the wrong country. Here, a former kickboxing champion shows how to ward off attacks and sent the assailants packing. Don't worry about style. We're trying to scare the heck out of them. Once again, the FPÖ can present itself as the party that protects the people. Some who attended the presentation say that the country needs a party like that. I think it's important for political parties to talk about things like this. A lot of people think that the politicians are just ignoring the situation on the streets. It's a lot less safe around here these days. I don't dare go out onto the streets by myself anymore. There are too many people here from different cultures. They don't respect anything. They don't respect men, women or the police. Mayor Walner doesn't have time now for the arguments put forward by FPÖ supporters. So, hello. 
He's been invited to a lunch prepared by some Afghan asylum seekers and some of the local volunteers that are helping the refugees. It's small gestures like this that help the refugees and the local residents get to know each other better. It helps you to see that they're real people, not just refugees or foreigners. That's helped me to be more open to them. Many people are afraid of the refugees and I can understand that. But when you meet them and get to know them, you realize there's nothing to fear. We can learn so much from each other. These are great people. They have so much to offer and that can help us to become more tolerant. The mayor's message is show the refugees some compassion and help them to become integrated into the local community. It's just very important to take a stand on this issue. Sure, some of the local residents feel anxious about the refugees being here. The best way to deal with that is to actually meet some of these people and learn something about them. We've seen here today that when both groups get together, they can learn a lot from each other. Dietmar Wallner hopes that most Austrians will be able to overcome their fears and prejudices and that the days of right-wing politicians are numbered in Jenbach and all over the country.